One of the best ways to build a habit is tracking them. I'm going to show you a simple way to track your habits that you can use every day that will reduce the friction of trying to do that. So stay tuned for that. There are a lot of different ways to track your habits, a uh, plethora of different apps for your phones. Um, you can do it um, you know, manually, like in your bullet journal where you uh, create a habit tracker. Um, there's lots of different ways that you can track them, but all of these methods work really well um, and you want to try to be able to reduce as much friction as possible so you can actually track your habit. And one really uh, easy way to do that is using Siri shortcuts and automation and uh, NFC tags. So NFC tags are just these little tags that can, uh, your phone can just tap these and then run certain, um, run certain things depending on how you have it set up. Super, super cheap. Um, you can buy um, a ton of these for like $6 on Amazon. Um, and I'll leave some links for those. Also, uh, I'm going to show you real quickly a simple way to set this up where you can track pretty much any habit you want or anything that you want. It's not just necessarily habits. Um, and all this is going to use is one of these tags, your iPhone, um, the shortcuts app, and a calendar, whatever calendar that might be. Mine would be uh, Gmail. So let's get started on that. Uh, first thing we want to do is unlock the phone. And then you want to go to your shortcuts app. Uh, if you don't have shortcuts, you can just go to the app store and download shortcuts um, from the app store. Uh, then once you get into your shortcuts app, um, all we're going to do now is make uh, a shortcut and then we're going to make an automation. Uh, okay, to create the shortcut, we're going to create the shortcut before we do the automation. And even though you can do the same thing within automations, it's always better uh, to create the shortcut first and then just add it to the automation. So to do that, we're going to hit the plus button here in, in shortcuts. We're going to give it a name. Test one. And then we go here to action. Um, so we're going to add an action and this is a calendar event. So when this is trigger, it's going to create a calendar event on your calendar. So we go here and we just want to search for calendar. Um, and then we're going to have add, um, add new event right there. Uh, and so now this pops up and so you have add and it gives you, you need the title and then it's going to give you the date from and to, uh, and today, and, and so this one, we're just going to, uh, create what we're going to call it. And this is going to be what this is called. Um, every time you run it. So if you're, whatever your habit name is, like took vitamins, uh, went for a run, whatever you're trying to track. Um, this is where you would just enter that name right there. And then here we, then we hit the date. Now we want to be able to put this on the date and time that we run the shortcut, because I think it's uh, pretty handy to actually have the date and time that you ran the shortcut. So you know what exactly what, when you did the habit, which is, which is great. And to do that, we're going to go down here with these called uh, variables. So down here in the variables, all we need to do is hit current date and then going to, we're just going to do current date again. So it does the current date um, to the current date. And then we're going to hit this little carrot. And on this carrot, this is where we're able to select um, different uh, things. So specifically, what calendar do you want this to put on? So whatever calendars you have on your uh, device will pop up there. So pick the calendar you want it to show up on. Um, then you have all day. If you wanted to make it an all day event, that's fine. Uh, but if you don't do that, then it'll actually put it in the calendar at the exact date and time that you, uh, you, uh, ran the shortcut and alert. You can just leave that as choose. So it doesn't alert you. One thing you want to uncheck here is show compose sheet. And that way it doesn't, um, create or pop up the compose sheet for you to type in more. It'll just automatically do it in the background. So just shut that off. And that should be perfect. So then the next thing we want to be able to do is what I like to do on most of my shortcuts and that is vibrate the device. So to do that, you just have to come down here to search and hit vibrate, vibrate the device. And I like to have the, vi the device vibrate as soon as it goes to run the shortcut. And so you can just press and hold and then drag it up there. And so what it's going to do now is going to vibrate the device and then add this to your calendar. 
Uh, that way you know if you, uh, you actually hit the hit the NFC tag or not. Um, it'll it'll give you that little vibration. Anyways, it's really good. And and that's it. Okay, so we now we have our shortcut here. So now all we need to do is automate it to where when we click that tag, it's going to run that shortcut and throw that on our calendar. Um, to do that, we're just going to go to automation. And this is all uh, the automation section. And then we're going to hit the plus button. And we're going to create a personal automation instead of a home automation. Personal automations only run on your iPhone. So this will only work for this particular iPhone. Uh, so we hit create personal automation. And then you can see we have a lot of different triggers to trigger that automation. But we're going to scroll down to NFC. And here on the NFC, um, we have the ability to then tell it what tag we want. So all we have to do is hit scan. And then we can just scan our NFC tag. And then it gives us a, a, a section to name the tag itself. So we're going to call this one test, test tag. We're going to hit OK. All right. So now we have test tag. And we hit next again. And then we're going to uh, add an action. And all we want to do on this action is it to run the shortcut that we already um, created. So if you hit add action and in search, type in run shortcut. And you can see run shortcut right here. So you click that. And then in this box, you just tell it what shortcut. So we're going to hit that one. And our, what is called? Test. Test one. That's the shortcut, um, and that's all we need to do. And then we'll hit next. It's going to give us a, a summary. When the test is detected, it'll run a shortcut. Real quick, coming back in, uh, I almost forgot. Um, you definitely want to turn something off on your automation. So here on your automation, uh, we'll just collect our automation here. And one thing I forgot to mention is you want to click off this ask before running. If you don't, then it's going to bring a pop-up down and you have to click the pop-up, which is just more friction. You want to be able to just click that and uh, it go. So sorry about that. I forgot. Make sure you unclick ask before running. We hit done. And now you can see here you have this personal um, tr uh, automation right there. When test is detected, run shortcut. Okay. Okay, now that we have the automation set up, it is as simple as just taking the phone and scanning your tag and then you'll get the vibration and then it'll run that shortcut for you. Hey, okay, let's, uh, so all we gotta do is we come over here to the calendar and as you can see right here, it created our event uh, called subscribe at the exact time that that happened. And you can do this for, as you can imagine, you can do this for any kind of habit. You can put these stickers right next to wherever you need to scan them from. So if you are taking your vitamins, I actually stick this directly uh, right onto my my vitamin container. That way when I pull out my vitamins, I can just tap the tag. It'll log it that I took it, and then I take the vitamins. Also, you can put these pretty much anywhere. Um, it's like next to where we're if you're taking some kind of medication. Um, that works really well for that too. You can just put it right next to wherever your medication's at and then just tag it as you take your medication. You can put it on the medication bottle. I mean, you can put them anywhere. Uh, the only thing that you have to be careful of is uh, they don't work on metal. So if you have something metal, you need to get a special tag that is designed to be stuck on metal, uh, which they work fine too. Um, they're just designed to be on metal. So if you have like a door or something metal, you want to put it on. But either way, it works uh, very well. I uh, highly recommend it. I've been using this system for quite some time, and I've uh, been very successful with uh, making sure I at least get these logged in. So uh, I really appreciate you staying to the end of the video. I hope this uh, helps you out. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, otherwise, uh, have a great, uh, great day.